So today, some allegations about Chris D'Elia came out, and that 10 women came out saying that he made them do some very weird things. Like, he made one girl film herself do NSFW type of things in her car in public. And I was thinking, how did he make her do that stuff? Like, I don't get how you could just force someone to do it, even though he wasn't there. Like, he wasn't in the car or anything like that. And somehow he made her do these things. But she said that he would leak her nudes. And that's what kind of made her do the things. Cause she, you know, of course, you don't want your nudes leaked. But the FBI is looking into this. So Chris could be in actual, like, serious trouble. So this time, it isn't just being canceled anymore. But they are just allegations at the end of the day. And there really isn't much evidence to them. But honestly, it wouldn't really be that shocking if it was true. Because this isn't, like, the first time things like this has came out about him. There's a good video explaining everything. It's called The Chris D'Elia Problem by Kyle Anderson. And I'll play some clips here from the video. It's just some of the girls that came forward talking about the situation just to give some context to everything. A lot of the girls had his name tattooed on them. And I didn't quite understand why until he started talking more about their arrangement with Chris. And apparently he would get girls into this arrangement where they weren't allowed to say no to him. How he would accomplish that was with some form of blackmail, whether that be emotional blackmail, like I'm gonna kill myself if you don't do X, Y, Z, or, you know, I'm going to release your nudes if you don't do X, Y, Z. Like, he would get very angry if you didn't call him daddy. Even at one point, he said to myself and another girl um, on separate occasions, uh, referring to my dad, he said, he's not your daddy, I am. Some girl with braids, he circled the exact spot on my neck where it was to go. He wanted to truly own, or feel like he owned his girls. About two months after he first mentioned it, I'd say, that I, I got the tattoo. I was in L.A. at that point, I had flown out of Santa Ana because I was supposed to meet with another one of his girls that he wanted me to live with and last minute she bailed that was his big dream was to have at least a couple of his girls live together basically have a harem when he posted the apology video I remember watching it and being so lost because I thought at the time does this mean he is ending things with all his girlfriends and I wrote him about it and I asked him like do you is this enabling to you do you want it to be the kind of thing where we back off and you know this is where it ends and he told me point blank I don't want anything to change and then when he posted shortly after a photo on Instagram with the caption that read being faithful rips he was sexing his other girls as he posted that so there really isn't much evidence but if there's that many girls coming forward it kind of seems a little sketchy to me and he kind of did say that he did these things and they are maybe true in his apology like he kind of hinted at him like this dude definitely has an addiction but a lot of people just give him the benefit of the doubt saying like he's trying to live the rock star type of lifestyle there's nothing wrong with that it's just kind of weird to make girls film themselves in public and make them get tattoos and like brand themselves that's just kind of far to me and kind of crazy. Like, I have nothing wrong with doing whatever you want to do, have fun. But to, like, that type of point, it's just, I feel like, too far, honestly. But the whole point of him, like, asking girls to tattoo, I think it is because he wants to start that whole, like, cult he's been talking about. But he had some merch that had, like, cult in it. So, like, he talks about this all the time. It's, like, not really he's trying to hide it or anything like that. But, yeah, the whole cult thing is a different subject because I can't tell if it's a bit or not. But at the same time, no one really thinks it's that funny. I don't really know who laughs at the jokes. So I don't get why he would keep on saying it if it wasn't true, you know? But honestly, with the whole tattoos and him controlling girls, I could kind of see how it seems true. And it seems like he's being serious. And the dude literally talks about it all the time. Yeah. I'm looking at uh, create a one, okay. right? You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm just trying to get a cult, man, for real. Because <laughs> um. <clears throat> I'm not in the podcast business. Yeah, you are. I have a cult. And it's a cult, and oh, and, Chris, and I am, and I am, can't and we are. To that and that are, picture looks like a cult. It either. does, doesn't it, dude? I admit I pissed on fourteen-year-olds. Brown. That's it. Credits. I admit I had a sex cult. Brown. That's it. By the way, I don't think that's that bad. I'm trying to get one. Now, every time I go out and I do another city, there are more and more babies there, and this is the time to push it further than ever to get these people part of the cult. If you can get like that, that's ultimate enlightenment, and that's why this is a fucking cult. I don't do a podcast. I have a cult. That's what it is. I want true believers of the hedonistic lifestyle. <clears throat> and I want people who are going to help spread the word, 
and build this cult. You're extra a cult leader. Shit. I'm a cult leader. You're babies. Right? Yeah, exactly. This is how we test the cult. They know I fuck. Daddy's coming to town. You go to the shows, bro. And I told him this is a cult, and they all cheered. But I don't think it's a bit. But who knows? It really could be. But back to the ten girls that came forward. I couldn't really find anything else on the other nine girls. So who knows if they're telling the truth? But I guess we'll see. So it seems like it's getting pretty serious if the FBI is going to be involved. But let me know what y'all think about the situation. Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and that's really about it. See ya.